Man, I had a, uh, I linked up with my boy TMG Fresh. That's his own side of my face. TMG. Okay. Me and my boy started a label together, uh, along with this dude named Sincere. And Alshon was he, Alshon a Hoover. Yeah, mm-hmm. yeah, they, he they is. They nine dudes Hoover. Yeah, mm-hmm. I'm four track gangster crib. Okay. And so like you know the, the in L A. The they politics is duty. different, but at this time I was up like a couple million dollars. Okay, I stayed next door to Jay Leno at this exact moment when I stop here. Like when he was, <laughs> I had so many cars in my house. Jay Leno was coming next door asking what kind of cars did me and my partners have, like Brabus, Benz, is it like exclusive mm-hmm. shit? But- yeah, we on Boss Talk One One. Yeah, we gonna talk. That's it. That's real. I just like I said when I when I. Uh, Think about the things that you, you know, people that came into my, my show flew in from New York, and I didn't never know that your name was going to pop up, but a dude came in here. <laughs> Listen, man, this dude came into my show. I didn't know how to take him. He was, he used to be with Takashi 6 9 <laughs> and I really was looking like, what do you want to come on my Before show you, for? Yeah. And then he, he flew all the way down here. He had been trying to get on this show for months. I didn't know what he wanted, but the dude came in here and he was a solid dude. Yeah. From really. what I what I no, dealt with, is. what I felt, he seemed solid. And he seemed like a genuine person. Thanks. But the story that he told about you was, he said he got shot, I think it was four times. And after he got shot, when he was rehabilitating himself up through the hospital and through different trials and tribulations, he says he didn't have nothing. And he run into Solo Lucha. And Solo Lucha gave him a couple thousand dollars to put him back on his feet. I was in my hood. So Lolucci was living in L.A. during the time. This is when he was on Love and Hip Hop and all yeah, that shit, right? Yeah. So he was living in L.A. So, you know, so Lolucci from Fort Worth, he, he gave me some money. I said, I said, I said, bro, I just got out the hospital. I just started back walking. I, I met up with, so I met Solo Lucci. And I told him, nigga, I'm from Hoover. Ooh, he's not from Fort Worth. And we, we was in L.A., right? So for, Lucci he was like. Crip too. Yeah, Crip too, exactly. So I said this. He was in my hood with me. I brought him to Hoover Street with me. This is when I just recovered and everything. So I said, yo, bro, I'm trying to do this rap shit. I wrote a song while I was shot up in the hospital. I said, bro, I want to shoot the video in my hood. I, I, nigga, I ain't gonna lie, man, I felt like the, when I got shot up, I was like, bro, I'm about to do this rap shit. Cause I felt like my story was so real and everything, like I was in this trenches. Like I said, I gotta do it, you, you know? Do. Yeah. So what happened was Lucci gave me about a couple thousand dollars off the strength, like here, bro, shot me a couple thousand. With that couple thousand dollars, I threw World Star Hip Hop like a thousand to throw my video on World Star. I shot the video for maybe like nine hundred dollars. Like I only had a. He gave me a couple racks, right? I, I I made everything happen with with them couple racks. Lucci gave me, and I shot the video in my hood. Threw the video on World Star. When I threw the video on World Star, so shout out to World Star Hip Hop for this. Takashi Six Nine just came out. In the hood with my Billy niggas and my Hoover niggas. You wanna, he had that shit, that gummo yeah. shit. Yeah. You a silly nigga in the hood with them Billy niggas and them Hoover niggas. Yeah. And it was going crazy. So when he did that, my video was on World Star and me being from Hoover, he had a song in the hood with my Billy niggas and my Hoover niggas. So it was like on top of World Star. It just looked at like, you. Need, so when he hit, when I, we was on, this is when Instagram was just yeah, barely. Yeah, just barely taking off. You know what I mean? So I'm like, yeah, he like, yo, you from Hoover, man. Like, you hard. Face. And with no repercussion, just bam. No face. How do you even run into this dude? And what the hell are you from Fort Worth? What the <laughs> hell is you doing out in California uh, with a, uh, what What do you call it? With yeah, somebody, nah, a bar and Linda playing, right? <laughs> <laughs> man, I had, uh, I linked up with my boy TMG Fresh. That's his own side of my face, TMG. Okay. Me and my boy started a level together, uh, along with this dude named Sincere. And Alshon was he, Alshon a Hoover. Yeah, mm-hmm. yeah, he they, is. They nine dudes Hoover. Yeah, mm-hmm. I'm four track gangster crib. Okay, and so like you know the, the in L.A. the they politics is dude. different. But at this time, I was up like a couple million dollars. Okay, I stayed next door to Jay Leno at this exact moment when I stop here. Like when he was, <laughs> I had so many cars in my house. Jay Leno was coming next door asking what kind of cars did me and my partners have. Like Brabus, Benz, is it like exclusive mm-hmm. shit? But anyway, long story short. Boom. Uh, what are we talking about? What? Uh, who name? Six nine. Not, I mean, oh, uh, uh, Alshon. Alshon. So Alshon was um one of the one of my affiliates, right? Like hood homeboy. Like we was all we all kind of carried ourselves up at echelon, but we was hood. Two of us was hood niggas. One was not. Okay. But so we tried to stay in contact with our. You know, we want to show our people the mm-hmm. shit too. They was like, 
We made them feel like security, but they really wasn't no security, but just to help a hood in the air and give your people some paper, put some paper in their pocket. Right. So it was, it was my boy Big Nate, shout out Big Nate, and then Alshon, but Alshon rapped. Mm -hmm. So he wanted to be a rapper, he was coming around, and one of my partners that's not really that hood, he kind of wasn't too comfortable with Alshon being around, because Alshon, let me get it straight, he about 6'7 now. 6'9. Yeah. Six, nine. Six, nine. This nigga 6'9, 200 something pounds. When I met this nigga, he a who? They called him Mr. Thousand Fades, because he caught over a thousand fights in Cali. Mm. With different sets, different games. So when he met me, he come around me and you know, I just, nigga, I'm Lucci, bitch. I don't care if you a thousand feet tall, bitch. I'm walking that motherfucker like my dick bigger than yours. <laughs> <laughs> I walked in that motherfucker not to have my confidence. And he was just like, bro, I like this nigga. Even the person that brought him there, he got closer with me than them. Mm. And it kind of caused some friction. But I, I mean, if I fuck with you, I fuck with you. Mm -hmm. So it got to the point to where basically the rich niggas that's been rich, because we had just got rich at the time. They didn't want them around. And they kind of sent them back to Hoover. They, when he went home, they just kind of stopped answering the phone and shit. And I'm like, man, I ain't no nigga like that. Like, I don't do that type of shit. Mm -hmm. So I got in my Bentley truck, and I drove to Hoover, mm -hmm. to the hood, to his block, mm -hmm. looking for him. On my way to Hoover, somebody tried to run like they tried to run to me. I pulled over, finna get out of Kester Fay, and it was Big Nate, my homeboy. He said, I know ain't nobody no better trouble but you, nigga. He said, I was fucking with you. But he said, boy, you crazy, you know where you at? Bitch, you playing with me. I was on that. But I went to my boy grandma's house and picked him up. He said, bro, I really want to do the rap shit. I can't afford to get my video shot, boom, 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 all this. I skipped him down, bro. Say less, bro. It wasn't, I'm gonna give it to a stripper or something anyway. Right. You know what I'm saying? So I just skimmed him down. He did his thing. Next thing I know, it was probably about a month or two later. He's like, bro, 6ix9ine just contacted me from World Star, helping to get a record down. I'm like, bitch, I don't know. I've been doing all this. <laughs> and I just got you a couple thousand bitches. You just got a record deal that uh -huh. fast, bro. That shit tripped me out. Mm -hmm. But like, I knew I had a real nigga inside. I was like, well, at least I know. Cuz, cuz ain't gonna never forget. Listen, that's my bro, man. And he never did because he mentioned it on the and show. And that might be the reason why he wanted to get on the show so that's bad. That's I'm telling like, you. When you said he cut that, you all like, that's what <laughs> <it." laughs> Lucha, I got to go over there. That's why it's good things going on no, with Lucha. So, solo man, no, nah, it's just like it's wonderful to know that that you is out here doing stuff from the heart, even when you get to bread. Best. A lot of folks change on people and don't even stay one hundred like that. Oh. So. That's the thing. That's why God continues to bless you, bro. He gonna continue to bless you too, I appreciate because you're always trying to do right by Him. That's, that's what right. really matter, bro. That's right. You know, we had these long conversations. I mean, you know, like I said, man, this this boss talk went on. We got the plaque. Everybody know we went over hundred thousand. <laughs> Don't have nothing to do with nothing. Just come out with it. We got the plaque, so you know it's official. You know, so you know you got. Anytime you come through, you got to come through and see us. You can't be around, running around here, uh, you know, forgetting about us for a year, right? Man, I can't know. You know, did a whole whole TV series all in Atlanta. I, had I to think I seen it in California. Some shit to ask questions about. Hey, no, it don't matter. Come? We still we don't. You got a co-host. You could do anything over yeah. in here, man. Okay, okay. Yeah, you know what I'm saying? We could have did this with Al Shun, and He could have told you about. It. Man, you remember when I got shot? And you helped me. I'm like, yeah, this is hey, good. But guess what? We gonna be back talking about how you seen Princess Dolly Bay in the back. And come on, come here. Yeah, you come oh, here. you finna put in line come on, a little man. bit. Come on, come on. So come on. yeah, okay. Hey, put let these me, on. Just introduce yourself. Yeah, yeah, let, yeah. Get yeah, let, let, yeah, let, let, yeah. Let, 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 yeah let, let, let's check her out. Look okay. Big girl. Yeah, let Don't me care. put the, put the song on because any woman that get on here got to drop sixteen bars. No, I'm just kidding. I ain't gonna do that's it. good. She oh, she care. ready? She in here? She said, let's do it. Nah, nah, man. Now we ain't got the time right now. I ain't gonna do you like that because I know you'll be there. Just so, so you are you you. How did you end up meeting uh Mr. Solo Lucci? Through Instagram. Through Instagram? Mm -hmm. and Shout how out Supreme. Bob. Bob, Bob Supreme. Supreme? He pointed me in her direction. Wow. He knew I had the power to, to do To help. Up. Yeah. So so, so, so how, how long you been doing music? Um, Two years consistently. That's hard. And, yeah. and, and, and did you ever think you'd be dealing with... Uh, did you ever think you'd be dealing with uh, uh, Solo Lucci? You no. know, had you had you seen him on I Love and Hip Hop and yes. all that stuff? All the time. That's crazy, right? Yeah, man. For you guys to be the linked up, man. So I think that's that's hard, man. I think that's mm -hmm. one of the most courageous things, man. For God to bless you and you be able to link with a dude who really been in, you know, 
uh, been been in been in uh, been in the limelight. You know what mm-hmm. I'm saying? So I just definitely want to say, man, thank you uh, for even coming over here, right? Right. Mm-hmm. And and I definitely uh, know that Solo Lucha is one of them guys that uh, he ain't gonna stir you wrong. If you do, call me. My number don't change. <laughs> okay. You know what I'm saying? Uh-huh. So um, just um, Solo, you gotta come back up here because I gotta end this, man. You can't just walk Let's off. Let's end the her song. Man, I don't even. Uh, if y'all want your wizard buzzing, man. <laughs> <laughs> hey, 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 I'm going to be honest with you He's going to have to bring you back So we can really okay. go down through Go-to. there right. that, that way we can get it done uh, Man, like I say, uh, Solo Don't play me, man Don't stay gone long Got, got to call me don't. Nah, Let's do it but it, and, and we can we can hang out, man We, uh, you gotta, I got I to gotta see how that I don't that, want you outside Don't give me She crazy, me. man I know She's you know, Jamaican. Jamaican There it is yeah. Legi- but but I can tell you right now, man. Uh, I like what you're doing, man. What's the name of your label? Have you even created? foreign money? Foreign money, the winning collection. Foreign money. Okay. Yes, sir. We different. Wow, man. Yeah, we on boss talk one on one. One on one. Yeah, we gonna talk.